And of course we have hubless wheels, so you don't get a uh, moving pattern on it like spokes. So we needed a, a light generator and a light engine under glass so you can actually get a read of, uh, of motion on it. And of course the very integrated rider on it and it's crazy riding position actually comes from Sid Mead's original designs for the first movie. And this is probably a good area where you can see how much the rider actually morphs into the bike so the whole shoulder is, you know, blending together and even this helmet has a little cutout here for the for the ring. Very integrated design. Like uh, in the front, if you want to come around real quick. We cut all this open. So when uh, our director, Joe Kaczynski, is shooting from this angle, he gets a lot of tire movement, which reflects in the helmet. <coughs> Even the display reflects in the helmet. And uh, we get a lot of questions about this very like old school uh, uh, steering column. And uh, um, we designed it for another purpose first. Uh, I will not say why, but it kind of stayed like that because we had no time to, to redesign it. Uh, and he has like a very classic uh, brake, brake lever here, and that's just because uh, our director wanted a very classic acting performance from Garrett Hedlund. Like, okay, dude, here's your badass bike. Now give us some, give us some action. If we would have given him a, a very, very weird futuristic bike, he would maybe not act as good uh, with this performance. And all over the all over the bike, you see very automotive features, like you know these solid crease lines here. because you need to get this black and it will be in a black environment so uh, you need to see all that and, and again like the, these reflections you see here are very classical automotive uh, uh, design features you know so yeah